Here are five free Notion formulas that you've definitely never used before. They're practical, powerful, and I think at least one of them will completely change how you use Notion. See, Notion automations require a paid Notion account, but Notion formulas are free. See, I spent years building productivity systems with Notion and learning its features, and not just for myself, but for thousands of founders, students, creators, and professionals. And what I've learned is this. The difference between a cluttered Notion and a clear one often comes down to just one or two clever formulas. See, if you implement the ones that I'm about to show you, you'll be able to spot where your time is actually going, instantly surface your most common planning mistakes, categorize tasks automatically, and even uncover why your weeks feel busy but aren't productive. But if you don't build this kind of visibility into your workspace, then you'll just keep spending time on the things that don't move the needle and wonder why your to-do list never shrinks. So here's what we'll cover. A formula that gives you hard data on your weekly time usage, a filter that shows you where your time estimates are failing, a method to detect if your entire week is filled with low-impact tasks, and an automatic tagging system that keeps your workspace organized without lifting a finger. Subscribe for Notion tutorials, let's dive in. By the way, for this tutorial, we'll be using Basic OS. It is my 100% free Notion template. There's a link in the description if you're interested, but these formulas will work for any Notion setup. All right, I've talked about this a million times, so skip the first one if you've heard it already, but if you click on Open in Calendar here, then you'll open up the Notion Calendar app. And if we add a task in here, Write Report, and you can see that's 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. If we go back to Basic OS, you can see Write Report sitting in here, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So these two are connected, but what I want to do is convert this data here, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. into minutes so I know where my time is going. And we can do this automatically with a formula. So I'll click on the plus here and we'll scroll down and we will use the first formula property here. And we'll just call this minutes. So here I'm going to paste this formula here. It is linked in the description so you can copy and paste it. And I'll click here on save. And as you can see, it says 60 minutes. So now automatically, if I add something like write presentation in here, write presentation like that, two o'clock to three o'clock, it automatically appears here and automatically converts my time into minutes. That's how to convert your Notion calendar into a time tracker. All right, we'll click on the plus here and we'll scroll down and we'll add another formula, of course and let's call this length here. And what I'll do is paste this formula here. Now bear in mind for this to work, this here where it says minutes, this column here has to be called minutes, otherwise it won't work. So if you've called it duration or time or something like that, this formula here won't work. So be sure to call this minutes or change these here in the code. And then we'll click here on save. And as you can see, it shows up the length of this task. So if I add a really big task here, let's say I'm batch cooking my meals for the week, if I go back here, you can see that it says long. And if I write something like subscribe, which is just a 15 minute task, you can see that it says subscribe, which is short. So automatically here, I can see how long these tasks are. And that's the formula for automatically telling me the length of my tasks. Now we can actually take this one step further. What I'm going to do here is I just go down here and right click here on all tasks and do duplicate. And what I'll do here is call this short tasks. And for short tasks here, what we're going to do is use a filter. And this filter here will be filtering by the length. And what we want to say is show me the stuff that has the word short. So now I can see short coming up here. And if I click on calculate here under subscribe, I can actually do count and count all. So now I can see that I have one in here. And what we can do is duplicate this again. And this time we'll do it for long and we'll change the filter here, change it from short to long. And now I can see there's a long task in here. And anytime I do a long task here, let's say I go for the world's longest run. If I go back here to basic OS, I can now see running long showing up here. And this is really useful to see because if I have way too many short tasks and not many long tasks, that means I'm not spending enough time doing deep work and I'm prioritizing quick tasks. Quick tasks probably won't move the needle and they won't be the ones generating you actual value. You'll most likely get that from these long tasks here. So filtering using this formula here will show you if you're actually being productive throughout your day. And that's how I filter a formula to know if I'm doing more shallow tasks or deep work. Okay, what we're going to do here is scroll up and we're going to add another property here. And this property will be a number property. And this here will be an estimate. So I write estimate here and I'll drag this here to the side. And what I'll do here is say how long I think this task will take. So I'll say this takes 15 minutes. It takes me a really long time to hit that subscribe button. And then let's say batch cooking. I'm guessing that will take 150 minutes. I'm guessing this presentation will take 60 minutes. And let's say I think the report will take 90 minutes. I'll obviously do the estimate before I do my time tracking. Now, if we click on the plus here and we scroll down and obviously we click on formula once again, and we'll write overrun here. 
And then we use this formula here, once again, linked in the description, and we click on save, we can actually see if it's on or under or if it took us longer than expected. So here I can see that I thought batch cooking would only take 150 minutes, but it took 180. So I can see that this took longer than expected. So how does this help? Well, if I scroll down here and right click on all tasks and do duplicate and we'll add a filter here and we'll filter it by the overrun and it has to contain the word overrun. Here I'll now see all of the tasks that I thought would take a certain amount of time, but it actually took longer. So let's say I saw batch cooking here a bunch of times. Well, then I know for the next time that I plan my week to allow more time for batch cooking. This will drastically help me to plan my week better. This formula allows me to know if I'm planning accurately. All right, this last formula here is phenomenal. If you click on the plus here and scroll down and once again, click on formula, and you paste this very long formula here and then click on save, you'll have a really awesome way of categorizing your tasks. So if I just add a fake task here called Cool John, as you can see, it comes up with communication. This word also works if I say meeting with John, as you can see. You'll have communication here from the words cool or meeting. Or if you say email John, as you can see, it comes up with email. You'll have the word exercise, if it contains run or gym. And one of my favorites, if you write groceries here, it will come up with housework. And you'll get housework here also if you write dishes, cleaning, or cooking. And then once again, what we can do is scroll down here, duplicate all of these tasks, write housework here, click on filter, filter it by this formula where it says housework. So now anytime you do any housework, it will be tracked in here. And if you're tracking your minutes for everything, you'll know exactly how much time you're spending on housework. Again, this template is free and linked in the description. If you want a much more powerful Notion template, then click on this video here. It's for my premium productivity Notion template. It's got a five-star rating. Click here to see the full tour. Thank you so much for watching.